So I'm going to show you how to do the end of near task or the loop stitch. Um, you put the loop stitch in at the end of an anastomosis. Um, you can see here, if you imagine this to be the front wall of your anastomosis, there's just enough space for two sutures. If I pop one suture in, which I can show you, but as the this gap gets smaller it can be very difficult to assess the back wall so you can see my my space is very small so if I am now going to put in my final stitch it can be very difficult to get in there to lift it um, and before I put my stitch in again I'm looking making sure I haven't caught the back wall and not handling the edge. So I pass the needle through, but I continue straight on to my second pass. Okay. Now because there's a big gap, I was able to pass that needle through and now I can now assess to see whether I've caught the back wall. I mean, obviously this is an anastomosis, but I've got enough space to see it, that everything is safe. Now, lots of seat surgeons do different things. This loop connecting the two passes, you can cut them, cut it here, and tie it off as separate sutures. I just like to keep them connected. So I'm just going to tie this one off and it can get quite fiddly, particularly if you've got a really long stitch. So you've just got to focus on one stitch that you want to tie off. Which is this one. Okay, so that's that first pass suture that I've tied off. And now I'm going to tie off my final stitch. Um, and at this point you can also wash out your um, anastomosis. Okay. Okay, so that was the loop stitch for the end of near, end is near task. Um, I'll draw some. I'll show you some diagrams to help explain what I did as well. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.